Hey there, Karen here. Just wanted to drop in and give you some great marketing tips for your business today. Listen, I have clients that ask me all the time, okay, so I met this great prospect and I think they'd be perfect for my business. I'd love to have them as a client, but they don't seem to understand that they'd be a really good client for me. How can I speed up my sales? How can I make things move faster? So let me give you one great tip that is going to solve the whole problem. I love it when there's like one thing that will solve the whole problem, right? That just makes it so simple and so easy. So when you meet a prospect, you want to spend more time listening than you do speaking. That's the first half of the solution. So you want to spend more time listening than speaking. Let me give you a great example. Let's say you're a yoga teacher and you specialize in helping CrossFit athletes recover from injury. Fantastic thing to do. So if that describes you and you meet, you meet someone out at an event or in a park or something and they say, oh, that's fantastic. I did CrossFit for a while and I really hurt my knee. What you can say to them is, that's fantastic. You know, I'm so sorry about your injury. How are you feeling now? And by the way, I had this great series of exercises that will really help your knee. That's the key word, knee, right? That's when you do the listening. That's a really important part is to key in on what word they are using and repeat it to them. And you can continue to repeat it to them. So in that same conversation, they might say, well, you know, my knee is feeling better. And you can say, well, you know what? It's really important that you continue to strengthen your knee and all of your other joints as you continue to do CrossFit. So you just keep using the same words that they are using. Why does that work and why is it helpful? Well, the reason it's helpful is because people understand that you are connecting with them and you are listening to their problem. This is super, this is just super critical. This is what the difference is between making a long sale and a short one. So if you really want to make your conversions happen faster, listen carefully and repeat the problem word, the problem keyword back to the person that you are talking to and use it the entire way through the sales funnel. So follow-up conversations, follow-up emails, whatever the situation is, make sure that you're continuing to use that same keyword. So listen, if you would like more tips on marketing your business, I'm always here to help. I'm going to go ahead and put a link below for a 15-minute profit planning um, session with me. During that time, I'm just going to give you some tips to help you move your business forward. No high-pressure sales is not my thing. Um, but if you do want to jump on the phone with me and learn a little bit more about sales and marketing for your unique business, I'd be happy to give you some custom tips. Again, all you got to do is click the link below and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.